Hello, so I'm in my pyjamas and I've made Clinky, which is my little music project because my last one was too complicated and I thought I'd make something simple. So on the bottom, you've just got some LEDs and a little sound codec and some multiplexing for the touch and multiplexing for the um, lights, which I messed up a bit, but you'll see that in a moment. And on the top, you've got a Teensy for the processor a twisty knob for fun, some seven second displays, a PSP joystick, and then you've got, um, um, let me see, a headphone output, uh, a line out, and a line in, so you could actually use it like a pocket operator and as an effect unit, or you could chain things together. Um, so let's switch it on. Plug it into power. So I've programmed it for now as a capacitive touch. It's touch sensitive. So if I touch gently and then harder, it's basically, oh, Isla wants to come and play, but just a moment, Isla, but you can, you can play us out in a moment. Um, so it's touch sensitive and you can sort of do a bit of vibrato. And I decided to, I'd wanted to embrace the imperfections of the capacitive touch. It's eight analog sliders, so it has multi-touch as well. So. I didn't tell them about the switchy one. Do you want to show them what the switchy one does? The, the joystick? When you press it, it changes the pitch of the note you're playing. That's right. And then this is just a colour wheel. It has no purpose apart from being a cool colour wheel right now. So the audio is just from the iPhone camera because I don't have a line uh, in on anything. But what's cool is there are 32 sawtooth op oscillators and 32 low pass gates, a reverb and a shimmer delay, and it all fits on the team seat, which is cool. I think you could also use it as a slicer, sample slicer would be fun. Let me try out a bit, let me see if I can play a tune. <laughs> there you go, that's Plinky. And let it fade out out of it. Ha ha ha.